Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so look, it's a band ride. Um, upper band engaged, upper band engaged. So, you know, we talked about how we weren't parabolic. We went from 49.5 back down in the 91 area to, to meet the monthly pivot and reload. Um, we've now gone up back through the daily mid band and up to engage the daily upper band for two consecutive days. That denotes a band ride. Um, so here's that monthly pivot test. It's an hourly chart. They did the V back on Thursday, and then they've had mid band support, daily pivot support, and a series of new highs. Uh, we printed as high as 58.5 in the overnight. So we got long around the close yesterday uh, against 49. Um, and it's looking like it's an okay trade. It may come back and, and stop us out here. It may whip around a little bit on the open, but the bottom line is we're in an upper band ride. Those typically can go farther than people think. They tend to be slow bleeders, which makes people want to fight them. Um, and what you can see on this hourly chart is a whole heck of a lot of fighting price. You had, you had the initial squeeze, which was Thursday, but Friday, Monday, and overnight Tuesday is just a lot of slow bleed to the upside. We talked you guys through every inch of this, whether you're a member in the room or just out there on, on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. I really wanted this move this last couple of weeks to show you, look, this is what we do, okay? And we do it every day, and we do a pretty good job of it. And if this is what you do, and this is what you're interested in, come check us out. You won't be disappointed. Um, so this is the slow beat to the upside that we talked about. Slow beats to the upside are denoted by people fighting price. People hate this rally. They wanted it to bust here, but it didn't happen. You had daily mid-band resistance, you had the recipe, Monthly pivot was too much. And now we're bleeding. Are we gonna go up forever? No. Are we gonna make a new all time high? Maybe. I don't know. We're certainly not all that far away. So um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's on the table. It's on the table. And if you get enough people hating this rally and fighting price and we keep making higher highs, the, 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 the 2870s, 2880s will get awfully, awfully big in the window. All right, everybody have a fantastic morning. Keep an eye on the hourly mid band this morning. So right around 52 on a pullback, that would need to hold. Um, on the upside, I mean, we're, you know, we're not, we're not in, in clear blue sky, but we are in an area where each one of these new highs on the bounce needs to get taken out. If you start to create a consistent lower highs and then you start to take out areas of significance like the hourly mid band and turn that into resistance that's how you get a little bit of a pullback um, we've been gravitating to the daily pivot the last uh you know last session or so you got daily pivot down here today 4572 that'd be kind of a deep move if you make that deep move and you're the bears you better win it meaning you better bust it because if you lose it again it's off to the races you keep doing these rinse and repeat moves to the upside okay have a great morning. We'll be out with a bunch of stuff on social. Come check us out. Come check us out. Until then, trade them well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.